Money does not have limits. Don't let the numbers limit your imagination. Welcome to Material Luxic. Today we'll cover the story of Yahoo, the company which became a huge joke between investors and big businessmen. Ever heard of Google? What about Facebook, Meta? Those were the companies that Yahoo could buy at huge discounts. However, Yahoo got sold at an even bigger discount and bought by its own opponent. Not only this has become the biggest internet meme, but the biggest lesson for all businessmen. As of lately, Yahoo is considering selling off its core internet business, which includes Flickr, Tumblr, and of course Yahoo.com. It's not surprising that the company's board is looking for an escape hatch. Yahoo is hurting, and the footfalls of the stumbling tech titan have been echoing for a while now. As we all know, Yahoo won't save itself by selling everything it has, and even if that would work, it would be extremely hard to achieve the success it had in the glory days. So here's a look at Yahoo's biggest mistakes. A road of despair that led Yahoo to the dire circumstance it's in today. The slow demise of Yahoo is particularly painful to relive because the company was so, so, so close to basically owning our entire online life. In some bizarro universe, Yahoo is a search engine, photo storage, and social network you use every day. But in this very real world, it isn't much of anything. Basically just Yahoo News and Yahoo Mail. And I think Katie Couric still works there. That's because of two central reasons a lack of vision, and a knack for delivering a touch of death on its acquisitions. One of Yahoo's biggest oh crap moments is when it refused Facebook, now known as Meta. Facebook itself is a story of resilience dodging 11 separate buyout offers that we know of, including overtures from Google, Viacom, and yes, Yahoo. In 2006, Yahoo had Facebook investors eager to sell, but a depreciation in stocks knocked what would have been a $1 billion offer to $875 million, causing Mark Zuckerberg to walk away from the deal. The same thing also happened with Microsoft when its CEO, Steve Ballmer, tried hard to buy Yahoo, which was now in a solid second place in the search engine race. In February of that year, Yahoo's board decided that Microsoft's $44 billion offer was too low. According to the New York Times, Yahoo disputes the notion that its business is deteriorating. Except Yahoo did make a deal with Microsoft the following year to replace its homegrown search with Microsoft's Bing. But it was kinda too late for Yahoo. Before Instagram and Snapchat were a thing, there was Flickr. Before Facebook came around, it was the online application for photo sharing. So what happened? Yahoo basically killed it with corporate bullshit and not seeing Flickr as its own social network. As Matt Honan's report for Gizmodo illustrates, that is the reason we bought Flickr, not the community. We didn't give a shit about that. The theory behind buying Flickr was not to increase social connections, it was to monetize the image index. It was totally not about social communities or social networking. It was certainly nothing to do with the users. And that was the problem. At the time, the web was rapidly becoming more social and Flickr was at the forefront of the movement. It was all about groups and comments and identifying people and contacts, friends or family. To Yahoo, it was just a database. Yahoo's constantly been confused as to whether it's a media company or a tech company. Computer scientist Paul Graham offers some insight into what made Yahoo so weird as a tech company compared to Google or Microsoft. Essentially, the company made money through ads rather than software. So by that thinking, it was a media company, but it often operated like a tech company. Graham also asserted that in the early years, Yahoo was scared of being crushed by Microsoft if it went in the tech company direction, much the way Netscape did, and it failed to capture a Google-like startup culture. However, the last nail in the coffin wasn't from Facebook, Google, or even the sad death of Flickr. It was Tumblr, and its mismanagement. Yahoo's stewardship of Tumblr is following a similar trajectory to its ownership of Flickr. Since Yahoo bungled turning Flickr into a photography-driven social network, current CEO Marissa Mayer straight up bought its own social network with Tumblr in 2013, which had yet to turn a profit. Yahoo immediately started serving ads on the microblogging platform after the deal closed. In April of this year, a shakeup meant bringing Tumblr into the Yahoo fold, and further, Tumblr redesigned its issues have only angered users. If the trajectory continues, that means sites like GeoCities, Flickr and Tumblr, among many others, will have fallen victim to Yahoo's acquisition curse. In a way, who knows what would have happened if giants like Facebook or Google fell into Yahoo's hands. Now comes the question, was this going to be preventable? Yes, Yahoo just had to have some serious plans on purchasing a website that will genuinely make actual money and not make it fail like they always do. 
but here. Here, we will show you the testament of how disappointing is Yahoo and the board's decisions. A revamp misfire. The idea of a complete company revamp under the direction of ex-Googler Marissa Mayer has yet to bring about many substantive changes, except the above-mentioned Tumblr acquisition. That in part is why selling off the core business is looking mighty attractive right now, because there seems to be no solid plan in place. It's not crazy to think one person can help change the tide in a huge way. Just look at Microsoft's turnaround under Satya Nadella. But Mayer's tenure has been much rockier and its future is now in question. Aside from that, it became something of a joke that Yahoo turns any website that it buys from its normal state into a stale, bland-looking website such as the case of Flickr, which was intended in the first place to be like Instagram or even TikTok, but ended up turning into the uglier cousin of Imgur. The website is no longer recognized and anybody you ask about Flickr will tell you that they don't know what it is. If Yahoo chooses to sell off its internet business piece by piece, it very well might be the biggest technology death since the birth of the internet. If it chooses to continue hanging on, bearing a minor miracle, we'll continue to see its slow decline play out a little bit longer. However, we can all agree that Yahoo's slow death might be inevitable. And all we can do is wish for it to come back on its feet or die a quick death. So what did you learn from this video? It's that taking decisions to keep your company in the comfort of its own designed place is a terrible mistake, and that risk-taking is a better option, as long as it's used wisely. Thanks for watching. We hope to see you soon with a brand new video and a fresh topic. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel, Material Luxic. We will always bring you topics about money.